Hello Egyptology lovers, welcome back. Today we're going to do a special video showing how to make a knot. Now, for all you knot lovers out there, uh, this is a special knot known as the knot of Tutankhamun. So when Tutankhamun was buried, uh, he had five shrines. Uh, he was in the fifth one, but on the very first one, when uh, Howard Carter, who discovered him in 1922, had opened and seen um, an unbroken seal, he realized that the pharaoh was still inside. So the mud seal, it's quite famous, you can see it on Google, it has a little seal in mud and then the, ray, the, the rope ties near the end here. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that based on the images that I was able to extrapolate. Now, the knot's a little unusual. I find it's kind of just kind of thrown together, slapped together. But you know what? It's still elegant because it's ancient. It's over 3,245 years old. So I think it's well worth learning how to do it and enjoying it. I got a piece of wood like this, like a type of mount. I put these two little rings on it. It's almost like door handle rings or covered rings. And now I'm going to show you how to pass the rope. So stay tuned for part two. All right, welcome back to part two. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start by taking one end of the rope like this, and we're going to pass it through. That's step one. We're going to pass it right through here and like that. Okay, and now you see how that goes over like this? And that's all you need. Just leave it there. You don't need anything else. Now you'll tighten this a little bit after. After that, you'll need to do, take the other end, and you need to go around it once and twice. Now you can skip through it if you want, but you can enjoy watching. It doesn't take more than 15 seconds. So you take the rope and you go over, just kind of hold it there so it doesn't kind of get, get all shambled. I just pulled the wrong side here, okay? And you just pull, 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 right? Until you have the first one like that. Make sure that this one is just a little bit, not too much. There you go. Then what you do is you kind of hold, hold it again and you pass it through under one more time right? I'm just going to pull it out so it doesn't get complicated. Then you take the other end and you pass it through under again. See right under there, right? Like that. And then you just go, oh, I'm sorry. They go under it again like that. Sorry. You go right under, not over, but under. And once you've done that, you pull, 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 and you're done. Those are the only two you need just like that. Now, once you have this, the next step is uh, for step two, is you need to go through um, going under. Now, you'll need to do 11 rings. So what you do is you go right under here again. Right, you pull that out. And now you can basically see what I'm going to do. What I tend to do is take this entire rope, right, and just kind of go around. But it's a little lumpy, so you just kind of grab all the rope in one kind of a little hand like that. And what you need to do is just go under. So you're gonna go over and under, over and under. You're gonna do that 11 times, and I'm gonna show you now. So I'm just gonna hold on to this like that, and we're just gonna go one. See, that's the first one. Nice and tight, make sure it's tight. You can always adjust it after, and I try to reach in like that. Two, leave the rope there, pull it again. Three, rope is there, and just keep going. You can speed through this if you like. Now, like I said, the knot is not something very impressive from what I've seen. Uh, it's actually surprisingly simple, uh, but we'll see what it's all about. So just keep going, keep going. Do that about 11 times, because that's how many there are in total. And you can always adjust this and tighten it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three more, two, right? Nine, ten. Now, count it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's your eleventh right there with this little ring right over here. So there it is. So now what you do is you pull this a little closer like this because that's where your mud seal is going to go. So you move that over because that's where you're going to put a mud seal. That's where you're going to put Tutankhamun's uh, seal like that. So you'll have these rings and they'll just go over like this. Count them out one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's your 11th. And now we're just going to put this down like that. And the next third part, we're going to show you how to do the knot over here. All right. Welcome back, everyone. So what I've done only is tighten the, a bit the rope here so it's nice and firm. As usual, there are 11 rings. Now, the first thing we're going to do is you're going to take the rope and I'm going to show you the first thing when you're going to accomplish. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this rope on the very top and you're going to twist it. You're going to go under like that. You see, it has to be like this first, like that. Not the other way around, 
not on top, but under. And when you do that, you put it right next to the uh, rope over there and you leave it like that. Now you see this little piece of rope right here, which is the one that was at the far end. Don't go under here, that's your step two. Don't go under here, but go over. So you're gonna go over and pass it through the ring. So you see that? Pass it through the ring, and then you just tighten. That's it. That's your first knot. There's gonna be two more of these. After that, you're going to take the rope itself and you're gonna move these two of them here. You see these two, you just move them out. You grab the rope, you go under, not over this way, but you gotta go under here. So stay within the area here and then pass it under here. See where my finger goes? You gotta pass it in between the ropes, not underneath it, but in between like that. You come out, there you go. Now, after that is gonna be a step three. The step three is you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take this rope and you're gonna go, oh, uh, you're gonna go um, over, I'm sorry, under. And when you've gone under, you gotta give, leave a little rope right over here. What you're going to do is twist it, not over, you see, not over, but under. So it passes underneath it. And then you come around the ring, right from under the ring, and you pass it through the hole, and then you pull, and there's your second knot. After that, you take this one right here, and you're gonna leave a little rope here. You're gonna go under the rope, completely under the whole thing, pass it over. And what I chose to do, you can do two or three. I can't see it clearly through the pictures, but I went through about maybe two of them. And you go through two of these and you pass it under it like that. Now, once you've done that, that's great, but you gotta keep in mind that in the picture, this third or this 11th rope that came up here, you can't go over it. You gotta go under it like that. Once you go under that, you're set. Now down here, don't forget to leave that little bit of that rope right over here. You're gonna twist this, but you're gonna twist it going, not this way, not underneath, but on the top like that. You see on the top like that. So you see the rope, this kind of came from inside there. Pass it like that. And once you've done that, you put the, you put it through the loop, right? Put it through the loop, tighten it, just give it a nice tighten like that, and you're done like that. And that's it. That's what it looks like in the picture. I'll just tighten up here a little bit. Like that. And there you go. There it is. There's your full knot of what it looks like. The knot of Tutankhamun. This comes out like this. And if you look at the pictures, it looks pretty much identical from what you see over here. You have a one, two, three, four, five that come over around here. And here we'll put the mud seal in the next video and you'll see how it's done. I hope you enjoyed this and go ahead and make the knot yourself. And thank you and see you next time. All right, everybody. So the uh, mud seal knot is complete uh, with the seal of the necropolis guard, which is basically Anubis on the top here, reclining Anubis with the cartouche of the throne name of Tutankhamun, and then you have the nine enemies of Egypt tied up. And then over here you have, of course, the rope, which I showed you earlier how to type, and the knot itself, how to tie up, and the knot. And it's mounted, so I can pretty much hang this and kind of keep it as a souvenir, so you could see the way it's shaped like that, and the way it's shaped like this. So yeah, that's it. That's the knot that I wanted to show everybody, and enjoy making it. Get yourself some clay and just start designing that.